Hey you guys, it's Kevin, and I'm here with Puffy, my son, and today we're gonna be reading my grandma's Instagram DMs. Okay, so before I invade her Instagram DMs, even though I have before, obviously, like, I'm making this video because I know that there's some juicy content in there that I want to share with you, I just want to make it clear that my grandma knows that I go into her account because I kind of like the account manager. I don't post for her, but I just make sure that she's not posting anything explicit because it's happened in the past. If you've been following my grandma, you've seen some things. And I have to go in and delete it sometimes because she doesn't really understand. She doesn't really understand like the full features of Instagram, which is why she doesn't even know anything about these Instagram DMs. I've always wondered since my grandma is in like the public eye, if there are people out there that find her attractive or people that like want her, you know what I mean? And this has kind of answered that question going into her DMs and you will find out too that people are truly interested in my grandma. We can all agree that my grandma is a beautiful woman, but I really just did not know that she could still pull and that guys would still be thirsty for her because she is almost 90 years old and I thought that stopped at an age. So that kind of gives us all hope that guys are still sliding her DMs, they could slide in our DMs, like we're on the right track. You don't Nothing to worry about it if your DMs are dry these days. My grandma's getting her DMs wet and <laughs> Sounds so dirty. Before I read them, I wanted to let you know that I'm gonna be blurring out the names and pictures of these guys that DM'd her because if they're willing to slide into my grandma's DMs, I don't know what else they're capable of. As in, like, I don't feel like getting murdered in my sleep because I'm making fun of them right now. So, if you're watching this and you recognize that these DMs are yours that you sent to my grandma, please don't come to my house in the middle of the night and kill me because I'm making fun of you. Because it just, it just would not be... Just don't, okay? Thank you. So I'm logged into my grandma's account, and let's do this. I've already read some of them, but some of them are coming in still. And pay attention to the dates, because that is the funniest part, because these guys keep coming back when there's no response. May 27th, 2017. Only God can compare with the beauty I see on you. I must confess, you are so beautiful. Do you mind if I can be one of your friends? June, the next year. A full year later. Hello, my friend. How are you doing this blessed morning? And God bless you. May of this year. Hello, my friend. Sorry to have bothered you. Just that I was lonely inside. I decided to get on here to see if I can wipe away my sadness. That's why I texted you and I hope you were not mad about it. My heart hurts right now. <laughs> Should not be laughing. I feel so bad for this guy because he's not even getting a response and he's still trying. June. Hello. And then last week. Hi. The persistence of this guy. <laughs> Like, you really can't make this up. Greetings, how are you today? Hope fine. You have a very intriguing and interesting profile, and I would love to know more about you. Expecting your early response, sincerely. That is the most articulate and well-written DM I've ever read or seen. This guy sent my grandma a poem in March. Love is a pure feeling of heart. Love is true when love is new. Love makes the world go round. The passion and the compassion that surround. When you fall in love, you are not you. I am not me, and really want to try all my best and power and charm to make you feel the same way. Love makes everything look awesome and makes everything look new. From my heart, I wish to confess that I want to love you. You should let me love you, mommy. Accept me with my temporary state. And then, a couple days later, he said, Hey, sexy granny. My grandma probably would have fell for the poem, and then you had to be vulgar and call my grandma a granny. You blew it. Um, he sent a photo of his bank account, which has $70,000. Granny, I can take good care of you. I'm a man on my own ass. Love oldies. <laughs> Wait a sec. $70,000? Is this real? If this is real, like, I'm about to slide in. And then he sent another poem. To a superwoman. I'm not even gonna read it. It's just, you can read it if you want. It's too much. Okay, and then he sent, <laughs> and then he sent photos of his Visa card. Go shopping with my vanilla card, mommy. I'm honestly not ready for this. This guy has texted my grandma like every day since 2017 and I at this point don't know if I should feel bad or if I should give him like props for keeping with it you know so first message was June 5th 2017 the day after my birthday is that a coincidence I'll let you decide that. Hello, my beautiful, 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 beautiful woman. And then a week later, good morning, my love. Everything well with you? Beautiful, beautiful, sexy, 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 sexy. I don't want to blur out these photos, but I know I have to just to like protect this guy. I feel bad, but just know that they're really funny. He is shirtless in them. A lot of emojis. Hello, my dear. Good afternoon, my love. 
Beautiful, 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 sexy, sexy, sexy woman. We gotta swipe up from a story too. This guy is trapped, okay? And then we have some more, looks like, clip art images. So the last messages were sent on March 2nd of this year, and there's just a bunch of photos. And his phone number! Okay, should I call it? Does that mean, what is it? What does this noise mean? Eight hours later. He hung up on me. Yo, what's up, baby? I want you so bad. I want your casserole all over me. <laughs> Is casserole a slang term these days? I'm very out of the loop with all that, okay? I'm repulsed right now, okay? That's just not okay. He has 51 followers. His profile photo is a car. People like that are the reason why I'm blurring out the usernames because someone like him would actually come to my house and kill me. Okay, so that's actually all the juicy content I could find on here. The other messages are just one-timers of guys just sliding in and saying like, hello dear and hello there, just sliding in but being very like tiptoey, you know, like they're just saying like one thing. So now we're gonna give my grandma a call because she needs to know about this. Yeah. Listen, people are really sliding into your DMs. Do you want to pursue any of these guys? What? Do you want to pursue any of the guys that slide into your Instagram DMs? No, no, I don't want to pursue nobody. Okay, so you're just happily being single. That's what I thought, right? That's right, yes. Okay. Yes. I don't know. I don't care. I don't want to do nothing. I love you. Okay. I'll, I'll see you later. Okay, later. Okay, Thank you. bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video of me reading my grandma's DMs. I kind of regret doing it, honestly, but, you know, I feel like this is good for the world to know that there's hope for all of us. People will slide into your DMs even when you're close to 100 years old. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up as usual, and if you're new here, click the subscribe button down there. Also, if you want to follow my grandma, it is just at grandma underscore droniac, and while you're at it, just follow me too. It's at Kevin Droniac, okay? I'm not being too thirsty, but like, I'd love to have you as an Instagram follower, and my grandma would too, so follow us, please. I'll see you soon, and have a good rest of your day. Eight years of doing this, and I still don't know how to close out a video, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click the button.